looking dapper. We are going to... You know what? We've been on Surviving Mars for ages. It's time for us to switch the radio station. Now, I believe the Surviving Mars and Red Frontier are just mel melodic stations. My favorite, by far, is Official Mars Channel. Largely fault because of the DJ. By far, my favorite. Bunch of places over here with no jobs. Uh, no workers, rather. It's gonna happen. We're massively prioritizing food production right now. We'll get more people. They'll constantly be filtering through. There's a malfunctioning cable. It's already being fixed. That's fine. How are we doing for power? Resources are low. Polymers, yeah. Power, we are still losing. I don't understand how. There we go. Why are you not bringing out the foods? That I do not understand either. Uh, right, where are you? Resources are low. Uh, we're gonna need you to go back and have a quick recharge before we take you out further. Actually, I can send you over here. Well, no, I would like you to help with loading and unloading and doing all of the good stuff up here. Yeah, look at Vehicle all battery uh, low. Mess, all right, there we go. Don't want this pinned. Let's take that one off. Resources are low. My teacup is empty. Sadness. Very nearly finished the apartments there. Uh, what's this dome like at the moment? We are almost full. Resources are low. Very nearly full. So we do need that to be built remarkably soon. Uh, how are we doing? We're just not doing well anymore because we don't have a full lineup of uh, workers there. But, there we go. That is finished. People hanging out, enjoying themselves. That's kind of creepy, being able to stare into people's private spaces. But there we go, that's what the arcology looks like. Resources it's are really low. awesome. Uh, especially, in my opinion, because of this. It's properly modeled there. That this is a is a different kind of divide to the others. So it's, it's built to pierce through the dome. I really, really like that. Really like it a lot. But as a result, this place has got a massive potential now for people to move in. And hopefully people are. We're pushing them pretty hard there. I've uh, got some general people working on those jobs. Uh, right. No, we need you to hang tight for now. Over here. 33 of 40. So we could afford to have a couple more people um, drop by. Uh... 31 lifetime graduates. Excellent. This one still has vacant work slots, despite the vast amount of space that it's got. 
Frictionless composites has been completed. That is huge. All right, let's go and see. What? Why are you not connected to anything? Oh, my bad. Uh, but yeah, that should have fixed our our woes for, for power. That they're producing as much now as the Sterling generator produces when open. So we're good. We're very good for that. Yeah, <laughs> we've got a ridiculous energy surplus now. Okay. Well, we're never going to have to worry about that again. Well, we will eventually, but... Right, that should allow me to finish that off. These are both doing good. All right. This one has had one yield. People are heading into the diner for some noms. Inside 10 of 10. I may need an extra diner, honestly. Maybe. We'll see. Right, have you got anything on you? You haven't. You have. Oh, no, sorry. I mean, you both have got things on you that I don't want you to have anymore. Right. Well, that is pretty bloody epic, I've got to say. We've got one senior here at this point. That's brilliant. I don't think there should be many vacancies for work here. Well, actually, there still is. Which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Um, oh, it's because people are leaving these for their much better um, apartments. Right. Comfort of residence 80, comfort of residence 55. Right, right, right. So they've, they've opted to go to the significantly more comfortable residence. Makes perfect sense. Unlimited power! Lifetime graduates from the school, 52. 33 from the university. Right, you're ready to go. Be gone. You are also ready to go. Also be gone. Go and chill over there for a second. Okay. How are things going down here? There we are. We've got the second one up and running. Giving us a bit more room. And we've got two more that we can build later. I might not build the arcology here depends a little bit there's a lot Cable of room fault reported there's a lot of room for for people to to come by uh i would not mind building something to just be a little bit nicer for them um possibly You're a listening space to bar Mars official radio with Pana Masculine, your first radio host choice with the best radio voice it's true uh right we'll get yeah we'll we'll get a space bar up and running should make this place significantly nicer for people soon after that we're gonna need to consider where we're gonna build the rare metals extractor we'll go for this one first then we'll have to build another over there in time. Shame, but okay. In terms of food, we're about to get a whopping harvest from our fruit trees here. Over a hundred fruit is about to be made. It's pretty good. 
Man, you took eight souls to get there. What is our general consumption? It's... Oh, okay. Only 16 in the last soul. So yeah, we should be good. If we've got several farms producing that kind of uh, output, then we've got a lot of room to grow. In fact, so much room to grow, I'm going to say we want to bring some more passengers along. Um, yeah, okay. So we're in kid too. You can launch with some more Earthlings. Already done, Darkfire Phoenix. You're not talking to a noob here. No grease monkey eye. No, no. I'm experienced. Experienced. I, I'm a master colony manager. The fact that some people may have died was entirely intentional. They just weren't good colonists. And so they were recycled for the betterment of the Martian, Martian ecology and economy and my sanity. It's, it's just the way it goes. Whoever is spreading these rumors that I don't know what I'm talking about will be the next people to be recycled. Breakthrough discovered. Hooray! All extractors continue to extract small amounts when their deposit is depleted. That is good. Leaving scattered molecules of the precious resources a mining facility was tasked with extracting has always bothered scientists as being just too cynically wasteful. You see, recycling. Luckily, with new nano refinement precision tools, this wasteful tendency has been remedied. Glorious. I like it. And it's not expensive to get either. So yeah, we'll pop that one in. I would like to get behavioral shaping after that. That being said, getting this would be good. It's a tricky one. It is a tricky one. Of course, getting the stem reconstruction. Uh, actually, we're going to go for... No, we're not going to go for stem reconstruction. Not yet. Instead, we're going to go for deep scanning. It's not expensive. There we go. I'd like to start using these to uh, pull up your food yield. You're listening to Mars Official Radio. I'm your host, Penem Askelin. I left my home country when I was in my 20s. Coming to a new culture is quite a challenge. Over the years, I noticed how I absorbed parts of the American culture. The personality I have today is the result of that fusion. I believe that I influenced America too. On a meta level, the exact same kind of absorption is taking place right now, on Mars. I'm changing, and the planet will change too, developing according to its varying culture. Next track, please. Right. At this point, I want to continue to expand our ability... Well, actually... How many... We haven't got it... Wow. No. It's time for me to build one of these. It's been time for me to build this for a while. Pipe leak reported. We are going to need cables running all the way up to about here. And then up there. It's not gonna require too much to build this. Once that is built. We are going to want the electronics factory. Right there. We are also Our explorer want... just got into a pretty serious accident. Oh dear. The good news is, it's still in one piece. The vehicle stumbled across a crust fault, which could have lasted for a couple of hundred of years under the slow erosion of the planet. Disturbed by the mechanical motion of the scanning probes, the surface opened like a wound and swallowed the rover. Luckily, only a few dozen of meters. 
The sturdy machine got out of the hole, but nevertheless it sustained heavy damage. Millions of years ago, Mars had been shaken to its core by cataclysmic impact, which sealed the fate of the planet. Since then, Mars, like all giants, is dying. Too slow for our mortal eyes to witness. Yet even today, the death throes of the red planet can be felt unmistakably. Uh, okay, well, that was, that was just a massive kick in the face. Uh, very well. We're gonna cancel that one for now. Really do need more people over here. This is where Research we're gonna be uh, complete. landing our colonists. I need them here more than anywhere else. Martian-born resilience has been learned. And Martian-born strength. Martian-born don't take sound damage from disasters. Martian-born grew up in the reality of the everyday dangers of the Red Planet. It bestows upon them an inner strength that is truly unique to the Martian quality. A uh, truly unique Martian quality, rather. And I like this one. We are born on the Red Planet. We do not fear stepping outside the safety of the dome. We embrace it. I can't help reading that quote without, just, you know, You merely adopted the darkness. I was born in it. Molded by it. I didn't see the sun until I was already a man. Or whatever the quote is. Uh, there we go. We will begin that one because that is super useful. Uh, actually, we'll get that one first. There we go. Yeah, pretty much fun peg. <laughs> that it is Bane. Let's not let's not pretend that it isn't. It it is Bane. Uh, let's see. What be going on down here, then? Well, uh, this be going. That is what be going on. Martian Bane. What a terrifying thought. I could pop this there. I wouldn't get too many, but... Uh no. Let's continue on gathering around here instead. There we go. Uh, additionally, I would actually like the concrete to be stored over there instead. That way I can take care of this side in a little bit. Uh, additionally, additionally, I would like this to be significantly closer. Because right now we're having to go so far away to uh, deposit the rocks. It's just not good. Right. That'll do. How long has this playthrough been? 7 hours, 39 minutes, and 15 seconds. Be back in a bit. Gotta make dinner. Enjoy your norms. New colonists have arrived. Hooray! Get in there, there's lots of work to do. Go, 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 go. <sighs> this is glorious. All of the food, all of the time. Oh, actually, there was meant to be a food thing down here. Because that's the emergency food. That's right. I want this fully upgraded. Vacant work slots, okay. That's not too bad. We're starting our production now. That mining system is amazing! Mm -hmm. 
This is amazing. I want I want more of these built everywhere. We will use them to intimidate our enemies. Uh, more colonists making their way across constantly. Fantastic. How is this one doing? Actually, it's shedding colonists. Seeing a lot of people moving around. How's... The uh, water isn't so great, honestly. Water isn't so great. Hmm. I'm liking that. Uh, I'm gonna want another shuttle with passengers. Only six are now available with the floors that we have. Um, I happen to know that Lazy is a floor that we can cure with the sanatorium. As is Glutton. As is Melancholic. Okay, we can launch that now. This thing is covered in dust. My goodness. We desperately need someone to come down there and repair that. Where are our electronic circuits? Well, we've got a couple over there, actually. That shouldn't be too bad. One building not working. Uh, apparently, it is working again. Honestly... Given the amount of extractors that are going to exist over here, I believe it would be make a lot of sense for us to manufacture fuel at source. This is Mars' official radio with Penham Public Service Escalin. We have a soundtrack just right for the blue sunset light. Panem is amazing. Donk. Right, let's get a separate fuel storage here then. Cable fault reported. Mm, that's in an awkward place for me to have to deal with, actually. I'm gonna have to let that one happen. Uh, we're probably not losing nearly enough power for it to make even the slightest bit of difference for us. Vacant work slots. Vacant work slots. That's just, that's just shocking. How can we have that many vacant work slots? Strange. Very strange. I guess it's counting all of these places together then, maybe? That's all I can assume. We are definitely struggling a little bit. A lot, actually. The other thing I could do is I could shut down some of this, but I'd rather not. Uh, how are we doing for... Oh, we've got a ridiculous amount of mechanical parts. You know what, then? Fine. We're going to shut this down right now. There we go. Now, we do have some... Pipe leak reported. Um, people working here in, in the various uh, locations. What I want out of this is to see... Science Institute. I really, really want the Science Institute. Um, well, we should have all of these jobs now running. Let's actually turn this one on and see how it feels. Slowly is how it feels, but that's fine. Ooh, actually, as far as an extra. Oh, it's already being fully upgraded. Never mind. Any other places that haven't been fully upgraded to everything? No, seems seems not. Very well. 
but we're going to start running out of uh, room shortly. And for that reason, we're going to activate the construction of this building here. And now that I've gotten rid of the mechanics, we need that one sorted as well. Twelve passengers. Um, yeah, this is where we need them. of electronics we've got nine not enough I was really hoping that we wouldn't need any more but alas no uh, Ferranamac let's get you over there new colonists have arrived research okay. complete nano refinement has been researched in terms of the next few things that we go for uh, let's see. Deep scanning is, is a must. Could increase the number of shuttles that we can have at any location. That would be useful. It's pricey though, but it would be useful. Sure, okay. And then uh, we can increase the amount that the cargoes can move, which would be... Well, actually, no. No, 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 no. By the time... Right, okay. We're going to want to be able to extract these deep resources that we're going to uncover. Seems, you know, makes obvious sense. Why I didn't think of it before is because I'm dumb. Uh, right. Emits pulses which reduce the dust accumulated on buildings in its range. How big is its range? Can its range be changed? Is the next question. I need to know. Is there a range change? That, I'm sorry, is as glorious as that little light is, it needs to go. It is true. Needing to up, um, maintain those buildings much less frequently, it's gonna be huge. Let's go and have a look at these new colonists. Oh, that takes a lot of people. Uh, well, uh, we'll get it fully upgraded. Rather important to do so. Uh, where are those animals? Oh, they've already been loaded in. Okay, that's fine. Well, we are now officially making our own electronic circuits. It's been a long time coming, but we're finally there. You've got nothing there, so you can go ahead and leave. Yeah, they'll be in Arcology in the bigger dome too. Cable fault reported. It's going to be a massive work, uh, working focused area. So <sighs> nothing we can do about that one. dial to increase the power on it now. Mm. Shame. Uh, this is obviously going to be waiting on electronic parts. Only one more though, which is interesting. 
We might see that one ready very soon. Still offloading food from this one. Fuel production was 45, fuel consumption was 47, refueling to rockets was 27. Yeah, we're, we definitely need extra. How much is clear? Just a decent wallop of um, pollens, though. So much food now. We we may have uh, we may have swung so violently in the opposite direction that uh, we're going to be drowning in food. I suppose there's worse things to drown in, but. Oh, outside of range. Damn. There we go. And let's get that down here. Too late, I think that might just be out of range. God, gosh, wow. I need some fuel then. And what are you? Oh yeah, I need to go and fix you, don't I? My bad. Oh, no, actually, it seems like we can reach it. No mind then. really interested to see what that does and whether I can increase the range or not because you can on um, underground heaters <laughs> I wish that Avak is streaming would be a valid reason not to have to go to school oh bless <laughs> We need polymers over here, unfortunately, before we can do anything else. We also need polymers down there as well. Probably going to have a bunch of colonists working down here. Engineers, geologists, botanists. That's more or less it, I would say. Medics would be welcome. No scientists, though. Don't need them. Not in this location. We may end up needing security here. just texted me to say that the tea shop that she went to get to get the uh, coffee that I liked has closed down. Oh, that's sweet of her. I'll just be a moment. I know super unprofessional, but... Deliver pol polymers before, like everyone in here, s slowly dies. Of the extreme cold, there's like a million polymers over here. Go! How's we doing? One un unemployed there, and one unemployed over here. Actually, 
slowly getting there. Uh, where's my transporter then? Please go and grab the polymers for me. I'm Panamaskalin, and you're listening to Mars Official Radio, your reliable source for the music you love. Oh, I like this one. Uh, you need to go and charge, so head over there. Could you please use the tunnel this time, okay? It is super fast. You almost beat me here. That's how super fast it is. There we go. Are there any cats in my Mars colony? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't see any get on board the shuttle, if that counts for anything. Definitely need more bots here. There we go. That should help a lot. Just l wait for the unemployment to uh, shift out, I think. There's not much more I can do there. Uh, we're doing all right here, though. Just waiting on a little bit of cash. I mean, I could sell some of the, the rare metals. It's not really what I want to do, though. <laughs> Ankus! That is fantastic. And just, uh, I love that you, you Time flies. made that reference. The day of love the final it. mission evaluation is drawing near. It's probably a good time to look at the colony statistics and address any goals and issues that we haven't so far. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. I've I've exceeded by eight anomalies. But yeah, she does sound a bit more like a belter, really. They did a good job on that accent, by the way. Based on the description of the accent in the books, they did a really good job of portraying that well in the uh, in the show. There we go. Let's make sure all of this is done. We picked it all up. Good. Let's be on our way. Vehicle battery low. You. Did you completely run out right before you finished? Oh no. Leave. Yes, the faint distress can. signal led us to the burial site of a small satellite. It had fallen deep under the red sands and could have been there for an eternity. It's strange that we couldn't find any information for the flight in the internal records. No black box, no signatures can be seen except for a discolored logo. Scoop 11. Upon opening the hull, we found all of the internal systems corroded away by time, with only a small capsule remaining. The biohazard sign on it only served to stir our curiosity, but a closer examination discovered that it was... Uh, it has been breached. We assume that the biological material inside had been destroyed. We've ordered the rover to store the salvage for further analysis. A curious find. Let's hope the future will bring more answers than questions on this matter. I think there's some sort of alien meums there. We're all gonna die. It's the it's the only way. Alright, you can leave now. Uh, 
As for you, you can also leave now. This actually looks quite nice to watch them taking off. This is the end. Alien invasion incoming. Yeah. Resources are low. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned with the choices made there as well. It's like, uh, have you watched any sci-fi? Because if you had, you'd know what was about to happen to us. Wow, all those drones all need charging. Like massive amounts of charging. Don't panic. Good advice. Cable fault reported. Dump. Right, we've now got more residential slots than vacant work slots. Which is a good place for us to be. Resources are low. Complex if I really wanted to. But I'm not sure that's the best option there. I think it would be better to have this place like um, have a Resources polymer factory are or low. something. Given our constant need for more polymers. Extractor about here. It's a really, really poor mine, though. It's going to take a long time to get anything out of that. Get these places fully upgraded. It'll take a while for us to, to get enough people working over here, but we should be able to manage it. On that note, more passengers, maybe? Not really. I'm Panam Askelin, and you're listening to Mars Official Radio. Soon, this planet will require um, the same social institutions that are required on Earth. Hospitals, yeah, retirement sure, I'll take homes, them. and of course, schools. As a trained educator, I believe that Mars will need a custom educational system, more efficient and less time-consuming. How do you think the system should be designed? Share your thoughts. Write us a letter. Listen to this. All right, how does this work then? Research it, complete. There, yeah, we can Select a it. sector to scan. That's glorious. Does that affect it in any way? Oh, it does. That's glorious. Absolutely glorious. So that should be generally trying to keep these from needing maintenance. Just by uh, removing the debris on them. Dust storm approaching. Of course it is. Right, I would like you removed. How much power is that pulling now? 12.8, but we've got plenty. Deep scanning has been researched, which is fantastic. 
Uh, research amplification physics. New. New, new, new. Martian Institute of Science is what we want next. Uh, in fact, we're going to get rid of those. And then probably pick this one up because we really need that. We desperately need it. Right. But with that, we can now do this. We can now start deep scanning pretty much everywhere. So... That's going to be amazing if that works particularly well. It will need um, cleaning, but uh, maintenance that is. Though I wonder if you had two within range of each other. Mm. Come piggybacking the cleaning. So no one ever needs maintenance. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's cool. I'm off. Catch you next stream. Take care, fun peg. Absolutely. Fast would be amazing at running cables and running for the domes. Well, I would absolutely like to get another one built there then. Uh, and down here, honestly, as well. Get one going up in there. We'll be paying a little bit of a more expensive sort of maintenance. But I think that that is generally going to be a much better solution. What is the drone load? The drone load is incredibly heavy. Hopefully we can get all of those built reasonably soon. Let's have a look down here. What kind of drone Cable fault you got? reported. Low. Good. Alright. Constantly getting more people moving in here. Sector scanned. 19 um, work slots needed, but... What about in here? One unemployed. There are no vacants and no resources are low. Um, no one employed, which is fine. These geologists. Meteor shower incoming. Okay, three souls. Will it show me where? It might not be near any of my buildings if that's the case. If it's not showing me. Ten passengers. Sure, let's get you down over here. We've just lost one of our scientific facilities in a disturbing set of events. What? We're still investigating the cause of the disaster. No, why did you but need to do that? there are clues which lead to unsettling conclusions. In. Why? Why did you do it? No, this must be one of the... I was worrying that this was going to be one of the mysteries. I was worried that this was going to be a mystery. I strongly suspect that we've just brought, like, a xenomorph in or something like that. Ah... <sighs> We've just lost one of our center. Blah, blah, blah. The security log shows that everything started with a malfunction in the storage unit where the analysis samples were stored. After that, the internal systems of the laboratory began to rapidly fail one after the other. Suspiciously, the damaged systems were all made of plastic and organic polymers, all corroded away within mere seconds. Our operatives are puzzled with the cause of the chain reaction, but the chief engineer has pointed out the fact which eluded our attention until now. The remains of the scoop um, 11 satellite were held in the storage unit of this facility. We didn't take any chances and ordered an emergency decontamination of the building. Let's hope that whatever was in there has been destroyed. Okay. 
my theories. One, there's some sort of xenomorph alien running around that just it, um, spits caustic acid or something. Or two, we've got some sort of uh, virus or, or, or protein or something like that that can corrode plastic or corrode oil-based things or polymers, whatever. Of the two, I'm more frightened about the other one, about the second one. Because if there's some sort of, like, chemical agent or, or bacterial agent, worst case scenario, that eats plastic, considering how much of our colony is built of it. Yeah, that wouldn't go well. That wouldn't go well at all. But looks like that is going to be our, uh, our mystery then. New colonists have arrived. Hey. Oh no, I don't have power there. That is unfortunate. I didn't notice that. Oh, I can run a little power Sector line. Sector scanned. It's fine. This should now dramatically reduce the maintenance on these buildings. Ooh. Well, that's nice. That's a very high uh, amount of materials there for us. We'd have to delete a bunch of stuff in order to get to it, which is not so great, but... A couple of vacant work slots over here. Not too many, though. Radio with Pana Masculine. I aim to please your musical needs. Yeah, we'll pop this one there, and that way we can uh, get the dust off these ones as well. I'm not going to worry too m much about things like these extractors because they are going to constantly be uh, causing dust. There's not a lot I can do about it. I love how the uh, cables where this is active are spotless. Sector scanned. Ah, a hundred thousand available water. We should be good, I think. We're going to be fine. Anomaly found. Avak builds Mars while we on Earth sleep. Yep, pretty much. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's like they had almost 2k rare metals in it. This can leave him just a moment. Uh, get all of that upgraded. That is upgraded, good. Also upgraded, good. Inactive work shift, understandable. Launch. Resources are low. Bye. 
Now we've got that, we might have to up maintain these extremely infrequently. Cost a bit, but man, they seem worth it. That is almost out now. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Select a sector to scan. Ooh. Oh. Many new anomalies have been discovered now. Now that is good. I wasn't really anticipating that. Where are you? Right, let's get you up there to charge. Same with you. We're going to need to start um, storing these, I would say. Oh, well, they all do. Popping that there should cover all of these buildings, which would be great. If I have one at the point of each uh, backup system, then it should prevent the backup systems from ever going down, which would be huge. Definitely expensive to set up the, these, but wow, you, you can't argue with the results. Sector scanned. I may send across a bunch more electronics. I'm not really using the money for much else at the moment. Oh, I can't wait until we get the technology where we can actually make use of this stuff. I got it shockingly early sector scan. in the game when I got Select it, and I was like, oh my scan. lord, I, I need to make a beeline for this tech every time, forever. And of course, you can't really beeline for any tech in this game, because it's more or less random where, if you're going to get it or not. Uh, not having it hurts. Truly hurts. A deep pain in my soul. Oh, we are scanning through these redonkulously fast. Uh, still a heavy load there, though. Oh, you've done good. Still waiting on these ones though. Got 53 people here now. I'm actually going to increase the priority for this building. I'd prefer this one to get the lion's share of the workers. Seven unemployed. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Let's open that up. And over here, two unemployed. One, what? 
One homeless ring. All of our drones are heading back for now. What are we doing for research? Slow. I should have used the money for that, I guess. Breakthrough discovered. Cable fault reported. Should be able to quickly fix that. Uh, rapid sleep. Colonists need to sleep for only one hour and regain extra sanity when sleeping. Sleep. Those little slices of death. How I loathe them. See? Poe's a man after my own heart. He understood how it truly was and so did the Martians. Clearly, I'm just building myself in this game. How marvellous. I approve. No active a research. society made of Avax. It'll be the most wondrous society ever. And it'll be a bare minimum of eating each other because we will all be the superior beings we only eat cattle uh on that note when is the next delivery of humans from earth we actually could do that. uh Hypochondriacs aren't terrible to bring along. Sure, launch. Uh, there seems to be quite a significant uh, thought towards modding in the, in the game. The mod editors and, in fact, just mod... Um, options are there uh, whether like how much integration there'll be with things like uh, uh, Steam Workshop and stuff like that I couldn't say at the moment but there we go There we are, 5.6. That's lovely. Uh, let's head down. How much is that going to bring us up? Yeah, we're, we're producing a lot more than we're using now. Sector scanned. When is my dentist appointment today? hours I don't need more than two for sleep that is uh, sector scanned all right so I'm curious how realistic the game is do you have the struggle to balance uh, nitrogen or oxygen early game or is the soil accuracy such as high carbon and iron but lower light elements no there, there isn't anything like that it is a game first and foremost in this one um, a game that you might be interested in if you're looking for something like that would be Station Nears, which is one that I am also streaming now and then. Uh, but this game is definitely not that level of realism. Not even slightly. Right, let's get out there, do some more searching. Incoming! That's actually scarily close to my colony. Gonna be honest, that is that frightens me a little bit.
Meteor incoming. Pipe leak reported. Okay, well, that's not terrible I'm as far as things go. Of Mars official radio. Lean back, relax, and let us do the rest. Our songs are simply the best, and my hosting is true. <laughs> oh, Panem is amazing. I actually, I actually forget the name of the the the, the, the fictional like DJ, um, like talk show host on in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, but I loved, loved listening to that. In fact, there's a there's a YouTube uh, channel out there I think that has all we have of that received on a there? disturbing medical report. A number of colonists have contracted an unknown disease. <sighs> wow. The medical examination shows that they all suffer from a form of hypercoagulation. Anticoagulation medicines have been issued, but the symptoms remain. Primary analysis of the patient's blood samples hasn't found the cause behind the symptoms, but the level of damage to the uh, erythrocytes leads to the workings of a virus-sized or smaller agent. We're currently running a thorough check on the patient's background information and behavior to find the source of the infection. Several colonists have gained the infected trait. Well, poop. I do not approve. Do not even slightly approve. Vehicle battery low. Okay, yeah, it's a New mystery. New colonists low. have arrived. I wonder if this is one of the harder mysteries or not. We all gonna die. Yeah, we might do actually. I think that would be pretty cool though. Break we ended up being discovered. zombies. Safe mode. Uh, oh yes, when a colonist suffers sanity breakdowns, they fall asleep and wake up after six hours with 70 sanity. Colonists can't commit suicide or gain flaws due to sanity breakdown. Failsafe systems have been in place used to prevent catastrophes in various fields for centuries. Until now, we had no viable way of remotely detecting when the brain was headed towards a meltdown. It means to remotely render people unconscious, however, it was already available. I think we'll take it. for comfort but okay this one seems to be struggling a little bit more than the others sector scanned Freezer. Mind control avic. Perfect. Yes, I know, right? Anomaly found. Anti battery. Okay. This is the Mars official radio. I'm Three unemployed. Unbiased information is essential to proper development. Still, people find it hard to understand that skewed information corrupts their conclusions. In contexts of social importance, like in the Mars Project, information has to be undistorted and addressed without preconceptions. With scientifically based information, the most difficult okay, arguments can be settled without issue. 
Ask and that's my ambition with this radio show. To report indisputable facts in between good songs. Like this one, for instance. Oh. I thought something just crashed today. I was like, no! And we'll get another one up here because I like nice all of my pipes and stuff looking clean. I don't need a better reason than that. Uh, there we'll do. Look at how shiny and, and, and chrome my colony is now. Very shiny. Very chrome. I approve. We need to build another one down here, though. Right there. Very low vacant work slots now. How close are we to the limit? Okay, we're getting there. Let's open that one up then. Whew. We're going to want to start getting metals around here, I think. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Resources are low. That will do. Right about there. That's not bad. Four, 4,000? Oof. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Anomaly found. Pipe leak reported. We'll get it sorted. That pipe will be under our influence in the future. I'm going to need to bring this one back. Vehicle to, uh, battery low. Get repaired. How are, how are the girls? Uh, they're doing Research fine. complete. Siri was on here earlier, actually. Anomaly analyzed. Go. We've also got some new research to look for. Home Collective. Residential building upgrade. Home Collective increases the service comfort of the building by 10. A friendly and supportive community is the key to making life easier in the harsh reality of the Red Planet. Ah. Yes. We have now got the... Uh, a Megadome. We've also got the Moho. A gleaming endowment. Oh, wow. Everyone duck. Research found out that drinking tea lessens blood coagulation. In retrospect, colonists with the infection prove acute failure in tea delivery and thus marking the first mistake of AVAC administration. AI governance is recommended. <laughs> I approve. Uh, but yes, we've got some, uh, some really quite nice things now. This, for example, Extracts metals, rare metals, and waste rock without the need of a deposit while heating the surrounding area. So it does quite a lot of things and guards against quite a, quite a few problems. Mohos are shafts that dig exceptionally deep in the Martian crust, releasing heat as part of a potential terraforming effort and, as a bonus, mining ore. It's a wonder. And once you've got it, it just generates constant metal and rare metals. It's amazing. But as you can see, it costs a lot to research. An awful lot. The MDS laser. Low density of the Martian atmosphere makes meteors especially dangerous. This is why installing a reliable defense system against meteors is crucial uh, for our colony's long-term survival. I'll probably regret not getting that. Uh, improves service comfort and provides relaxation, allowing colonists to visit to gain comfort. You haven't truly colonized the planet until you build your first spa set. <laughs> Who might say no to that? Um, uh, 
I'd actually like... Uh, I don't know. It's a tricky one, this, because... No, I'm gonna go for this one instead. 